Hey guys, Hasib here. Welcome to this video and hope you all are doing well. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Go High Level reputation management feature. Basically, Go High Level has a reputation management functionality which allows you to get more Google reviews. You can automate the process of asking your client base or your member base for leaving a Google review. Not only that, when someone puts a review, the Go High Level AI can respond to those reviews. So it's pretty cool and pretty you know, dynamic, I would say. So in this video, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the whole thing. I'm going to help you set it up for your business. And uh, I will also create the workflows you need, which is pretty basic. So you don't, you don't have to worry about, you know, creating complicated workflows to get, uh, you know, automatic Google review requests to your customers or members. So this video will hopefully make it really easy for you to understand and stick till the end of this video. And after watching this video, if you think this helped you set up your Google review and reputation management system for your business, please subscribe. So I'll see you on my computer screen. So I'm on my Go High Level account. I just wanted to briefly talk about what impact the reputation management feature in Go High Level can have on your business. If you are a local business owner, if you are self-employed, if you are B2B, it doesn't matter. As long as you have your Google business profile, a verified Google business profile listing, using or having this Go High Level reputation management or, you know, using it is a complete blessing. I can't explain enough how much five-star reviews mean for a business. If someone is searching for you on Google and your Google business pops up on the right side, having so many five star reviews mean a lot not only it increases your seo but also it increases your, the overall trust and trust is one of the most important things in digital marketing for uh you know online businesses or businesses that rely on online marketing so if you have it if you have your business profile and if you have a go high level account why not use it so that's exactly what we are going to see in this video first of all i'm on my sub account and i need to go to settings I need to go to integrations and here um, there's a there's a pop-up that says uh, Google business chat is going away which is a an update from Google obviously so as you can see my Google business is already connected right so I can either disconnect it and show you how to connect it so suppose you don't have your Google business profile connected and I'll just do connect now it's going to ask me, uh, you know, as long as the Google account I'm signed in with has access or is the admin of my Google business profile, I don't have any problem. So I'm going to, yeah, I can't turn this on because it's going away. So the call tracking is enabled and you can see it's, it says in connection is, is in progress. So I'll just refresh the screen. And as you can see in no time, my Google business profile is connected. That's the first thing. So you need to connect your Google business profile with your high level account. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to go back to our dashboard. So we are in our dashboard. Now we are going to go to reputation. That's where all the magic happens, basically. Now you can see a few overviews, how many reviews you've got. I don't have any because this is a new Google business profile listing I'm working with right now. And uh, you can see how many requests you have sent. You can see how many reviews you have got and uh, you can obviously create a review widget like it will automatically fetch all the reviews to a widget and this widget can be used on your landing page which increases the trust of the landing page also you can use this on your website this comes with an embeddable code if you edit this and if you go to settings this is the code you literally copy and you know paste in your landing page or your website so that's all about the widget which is pretty simple really you can you can further optimize it a bit you know by maybe putting out facebook uh you just need the google reviews you can see like what type of widget you need i don't have any reviews that's why it's not giving me the uh, perfect preview but anyway uh, you can only you can filter by you know saying that i just want the five star ratings to be on on this widget right now if we go to content you can obviously change the heading the writer review if you want the writer review uh, button over here so people can click on this button from the widget and then go to leave a review for you you can totally do that and that's the appearance you can change the colors and stuff you can change the font as well i mean there wasn't a lot of you know these things a few days ago even but they are constantly as you can see they're constantly making changes to the reviews uh, or the review functionalities right 
so that's the listings feature we've got like we just have you know we're just working with google and not any extra stuff so we don't have to worry about it now we have to go to settings right so when we go to settings then the first thing we need to do is we need to go to email review request so basically when we ask someone from the system to leave us a review on our google business that's the thing you need to first you know uh set correctly so uh would you recommend us uh that's the subject line that goes out with the email and when to send email after check-in so when you add someone to the reputation management automation you need to you know you need to fix when the actual email goes out which will be immediately which is totally fine right and now if we go to uh, until clicked repeat this every maybe three days so if they haven't clicked on the button on the email that goes out to them we need to repeat this how many times maximum retries we'll say three so three times the email goes out until someone clicks on any of the emails buttons to actually leave a review that's how it works and that's basically it you can customize the email that goes out you can change your logo uh, you can change the number of ratings you can change change the text you know address if you want and that's the button that people will click to actually leave a review and when you're done save it similar thing happens for when you are sending someone a text on mobile for leaving a review so that's sms review requests you need to first enable it and then request with image you know uh, if you want to share an image with to, through the sms but for uk or any uh you know a few other countries they don't enable mms so maybe just turn this off and that's the sms um would you recommend this so you can have your own text in uh, as long as you have something that makes sense you're good so mm, same thing for this uh, when to send SMS after check-in after you have added them to the reputation management through a workflow which we're gonna see when do you want them to receive the SMS which is immediately right uh, you can you can do a, like a seven day delay or you know something like that but I don't recommend doing that just do immediately until clicked again every three days maximum three three times you can obviously you can have your own choices in it right so when you're done go to reviews ai that's a new feature right so when someone leaves a review there are a few things you can do first of all you can turn off auto responses so if, if someone leaves a review on your google business profile you definitely want to respond to that review so the reviews ai what it does is based on the review no matter like five star two star one star doesn't matter based on the review it, it responds to that review if you turn this one on right and there are a few other settings you can look into you can if you are not sure about you know the ability for uh, review ai to actually respond you can do suggestive which will put a drafted response so that this will this will basically not put the review but it'll sa save a drafted version for you so if you can if you want to edit this and then actually respond to that you, you can totally do that for now i'll just turn this off one more thing is the review link. So when you go to review link, you need to select get reviews on Google, this one, right? So this is the link you're actually sending to people. You don't want to get reviews on Facebook or anything. Maybe you can do it through a different campaign or something. But for now, just to uh, just stick with get reviews on Google. And that's the link. If you want to manually share your link with someone to one of your existing customers or existing clients, you can totally do that by copying this and, uh, you know, just share the link. So, so they click on that and just go to the business page and leave a review. That's pretty much what you need to handle in the reputation management settings. And we've talk, talked about the overview requests reviews widgets which you can uh, which is an embeddable code that you can put your on your landing page or website that increases the trust now let's talk about how to add them to the reputation management system so what we're going to do is we're going to now go to automations and we're going to create a folder saying google review requests so i'm going to go to google review requests i'm going to create a new workflow and if you want to create something from scratch go ahead but i'm gonna show you a, uh, like an already created template by go high level uh recipe send review request this one so i'm gonna select this and just go to paste this so it is a really basic workflow guys it's nothing fancy so what it says is if the first condition of sending a review request or adding someone to the review uh, reputation management automation is 
if some any opportunity has been marked as one right so you know in opportunities and pipeline management if you move a tile no matter what pipeline it is if you move a tile to one you know when you drag it some uh you know abandoned lost and one appears at the bottom so if you move them to one basically they have become a client or a customer or a member what you can do is automatically based on this trigger you can add them to to the review automation so that's basically what's happening right the second thing is trigger uh, like through a contact tag if you manually add a tag to any contact no matter like how from contacts from opportunities from anywhere so if you say like a um, review request let's say so if you add this tag to any contact in general in the system this workflow will add that contact to the review automation that's what's happening in the second trigger third trigger is appointment status is showed so I, I would remove that because having an appointment or having a consultation or like a call with a potential lead doesn't really mean that you have closed them so I'll just delete this so unless you're super sure that someone has become a member or a client or a customer you don't want them to receive your auto uh, Google review requests right so how are we sure the first thing is if we move them to one Second thing is if we manually add a tag review request, you can have your own choices in it. Like if you, uh, if pipeline stage changed, you know, that's, that could be another potential review request trigger. So I would say in pipeline leads and uh, there's a pipeline stage called closed or became client. So if the tile is moved there, they will receive the review request. So you can do something like that. I won't do it now. So that's all about the triggers of this workflow. Then the first thing that happens is send review request via sms so that's the review request automation that's happening through this action right wait one hour then again send review request via email so that's those are two hap uh, things happening if you are not able to find that just type review send review request type sms so that's that's basically what was happening in these two so the first one is send review like add them to the review automation via sms add them to the review automation via email so that's really that's how simple it is publish it save it that's all about your reputation management so now from from now if you m move someone as one or if you add a tag to any of your contact in your system or you can have another ta uh, trigger like how i said add them to a new pipeline stage saying uh or became client or something like that this review automation kicks off and then they will hopefully leave a review a good one of course so that's basically all you need to know for now about uh, the google review uh, or you know reputation management software in go high level i hope this video was helpful and um, subscribe if you liked it i will see you in the next one